So here we are in Vegas Pro 15 and currently on screen is a previous video I uploaded last week which was how to export images with watermarks in Lightroom. So this is the raw footage and the raw audio before it's been edited. So there's going to be three simple ways to improve your audio quality and it's also going to be very quick and simple. Now you can add this directly onto one of the specific audio clips, but if you have multiple different audio clips, for example, if it looks something like this, you have multiple different things, then I'll show you how to add it onto the entire track. Now if yours just looks like this, then you can just select the FX button from here. If you have multiple audio throughout the video or throughout your timeline, then come up to here to where it says more, then you want to select track effects. Now from here you're going to select the plugin chain button and what you're going to be adding on is Express Effects Dynamics, Express Effects Noise Gate and we're also going to be using Track Noise Gate which is already up there. So we can select OK and this is now what we get. So we're going to start with Track Compressor. For the input and the output gain you're going to leave it as it is. But for the threshold here, we're going to be changing this to minus 20. So you can just come here and type in minus 20. Now I do also recommend you don't just copy the exact same settings I use. The reason being is because everyone is in a different environment. Everyone is using a different microphone. So it's best that you use mine settings as a base and then of course adjust accordingly. But from here, we're also going to be changing the amount to three. And then at the bottom, you can see it says smooth saturation. You want to make sure that is checked. Now, what you can also do from here is save this as a preset. So you can call this, for example, vocals. And then you can select save preset, meaning you won't have to remember these settings again. You can always just come here and select it straight away. And next we have Express Effects Dynamics. And all we're going to do where it says preset, we're going to be changing this to maximize volume. Now leave that as it is. Again, of course, you can adjust if you need to or if you want to. And then the final thing is Express Effects Noise Gate. Now Noise Gate, of course, pretty pretty obvious is get rid of that horrible background noise. So the fan noise and any other background noise you may have. Now for this, it is very difficult to give you a specific number simply because once again, everyone is in a different environment. But what I do recommend is anywhere from minus 20 to minus 25 and I'm going to stay around minus 22 here. And then for track noise gate, you can uncheck and track EQ, you can uncheck because we don't need them for now. We are just working with these three. And just like that, it is done. So once you are happy with everything and once you've gone through and made sure it's suitable for your vocals, you can go through, label this one vocals, and then again, select save preset. Of course, express effects dynamics, it's already going to be saved as it is. However, if you do adjust it, then of course, come here, call it vocals and select save preset. But that's it for this tutorial. I do hope this has helped you. And to be honest, if I was to recommend, should you edit your audio in Vegas? I would say no. For me personally, I use Audacity. For those who are not using Audacity, I do recommend you use it because it is a free software where you can record your microphone as well as edit your voice as well. For those who have Adobe Audition, I have done a tutorial on that and that is also a great software, just not something I use for the editing side.